Hey guys, thanks for checking out this 2021 Honda Pilot SE. It does feature a 3.5 liter V6 engine and is all wheel drive. You can see it is very sleek as far as the exterior appearance is concerned. You're going to have a charcoal color exterior with the black accents. So you have the blacked out rims, the black front, um, the black around the front of your fog lights. So it gives it a really nice like sleek appearance. You also do have um, the tinted windows, which is really nice. So we'll just make our way around the vehicle, noticing all the features that this vehicle does have to offer. And then we'll go around again, noticing any sort of dense things or imperfections that you could expect to find on this particular vehicle. So as I had mentioned, you are going to have the black grill. You'll have the silver emblem. You'll also have the black down here around your fog lights then as well. You do have the blacked out rims, which is always a really nice touch um, with the Honda emblem there in the middle. We'll go over exact tread depths once we make our way inside the vehicle, but judging by the dots, I will say that they are most likely new tires that we just put on the vehicle. You are going to have your turn signal indicator here on the exterior of your mirror, and you will also have the proximity locks, which is always convenient as far as being able to enter your vehicle and not have to take your keys out of your purse or your pocket. So. Just looking in here, um, you can see that you do have the black leather interior. Some of it does have like a light ivory colored stitching, which gives it a little bit of a pop of color. You're going to have powered seats as far as your passenger and your driver's side doors. I mean, seats. And then looking here in the glove compartment, we can tell you the exact tread depths. So you're at 11.30 seconds the entire way around brake pads you are at 13 30 seconds so plenty of life left on everything not having to worry with any of it anytime soon and you do have your owner's manual in there as well for your side um, for your doors you're going to have powered locks powered windows and you'll have some storage compartments here down below which is always nice for additional storage Looking at the middle row, you can see that they are going to have plenty of leg room um, for those passengers riding in the second row. You do kind of have like an all weather mat that runs along the entire base. You are also going to have your heating and cooling options for back here, as well as some charging docks. It is really simple to fold these seats forward, pull the lever, and you can see that you do have your two back seats here. You'll have cup holders on both sides as well. Um, and then they'll have their own little air vents, which is always nice. Taking a look at the back here, you will have your uh, backup camera. And then just to show you here, it is all wheel drive, special edition. It is a power lift as far as the gate is concerned. So just push the button and it will open itself for you. It is nice because you do have like a little bit of a dip down in here for additional storage. Um, and these are just super simple to push forward so you can just pull this out and everything, sorry, hard to do with one hand, um, will fall forward for you, falls flat. So it's super simple to be able to put them up and put the seats back down, which is always a nice feature when you have that third row. Again, push the button and it will close for you. Give you a quick sneak peek back into the driver's side for the second row. One thing I will note is just if you just push this button here, the seat will fold forward and slide forward. Super simple to get into that back seat. That's the one I just folded down, so I apologize, but you would have both. All right. In the cup holders, I mean, in the door, you're going to have two cup holders. You'll also have your powered windows and then some storage spaces down below, again, which is super convenient. Making our way into the driver's side door, you will see you have your powered locks, windows, and mirrors, and then you also have the ability to set them, which is always a plus if you don't have too many people that are using the vehicle. You'll also have your gas and your trunk pops right there. Again, it is um, powered as far as the seats are concerned, and you will have all your safety options over here. So forward collision, la lane departure assist, um, traction control, and then your economy mode. So it's always, nice little safety features it is a push to start to the left of your steering wheel here you're going to have all your bluetooth options as well as some display and volume settings to the right you're going to have your cruise control and then you'll have um, some of your like lane departure settings looking up here in the dash you will see 24,116 miles 
the lights that are on are because the lights are on and then the other one is because I just hopped in here super fast so nothing to be alarmed by no um, alert lights are on so we are good to go um, taking a look over here you will see that you have a nice touch screen display we'll go ahead and put it in reverse really fast just to show you the backup camera which is super clean super crisp put it back in the park um, so you have your AM FM series XM radio capabilities your Bluetooth all of that can be linked right here um, from your touch screen down below you'll have all your heating and cooling options um, below that you will have the lovely heated seats on days like today where that would be absolutely perfect you do have a charging dock down here which is absolutely awesome so just set your phone in there and it will charge up for you and then you also have buttons as far as all your drive options are concerned so I know for some people it takes a little bit of getting used to rather than the shifter but it, it does kind of free up a lot of the space down here with two additional cup holders you do get two keys with the purchase of the vehicle and you can see there is remote start and then you have your storage compartment here as well looking up here at the top you can see that you do have a um, sunroof which we will just go ahead and open that up right there for you always nice on the summer days which is not like today today we will utilize the heated seats um, and then you also have your light options here then as well so this vehicle has just about anything that you could want um, I mean the third row leather seats heated um, a lot of safety features this is just a great 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 vehicle um, especially if you're looking for that third row it is 2021 Honda Pilot you can see here on the Carfax there have been no accidents or damages reported on the vehicle and it has had one owner so everything would still fall under factory warranty which is always a plus so for the last section of the video we will get out noticing any sort of dense dings or imperfections you could expect to find on the vehicle i will say this was a local trade-in they took very good care of it um the interior is dang near perfect um so we'll just go around the exterior nothing alarming that i really found um there is some oh nope that just comes right off so nothing to note there um i mean overall it's just gonna have its general like stone chipping like there's one right here um but nothing really minor or major to point out there's a little nick right there the rims are in good condition nothing to really note with putting items into or out of the back of the vehicle so if you're in the market for an all-wheel drive third row SUV, this is the option for you. Uh, give us a call, 717-485-4224. Check us out online at www.allthingsautomotive.com or come down to visit the showroom at 21518 Great Cove Road in McConnellsburg, Pennsylvania. Thanks and have a great day.